What's up guys, welcome to my first YouTube video. I'm going to be going over how I journal on an intraday basis or on a day-to-day -day basis and what exactly is it that I'm putting in, what exactly is it that I'm logging and writing to myself as well as what do I do on Sundays um, and my Sunday analysis to prepare, to prepare for the week ahead. Sorry. And yeah, it took a while for me to put out this video. I know I said I'd do something like this a couple weeks ago. I've just been really busy, so sorry about that. But here we are, and let's just dive right into it. Um, so, what exactly is it that I am doing? So I have here on Notion, this is where I do all my journaling and where I log all my trades. And if you didn't know, there's a difference between journaling and logging your trades, right? I shared with you guys this template on Twitter, and this is where you log your wins and losses, right? But journaling is different because that's what you're doing intraday and like, kind of like minute by minute or like what walking yourself through the day basically and writing your predictions your analysis your thoughts on what you're looking at right so that's what this journal here is and I have each month split into its own different page and I will show you how to set this up at the end of the video and so let's just jump right into it right so if you click November you will see that every single trading day of that month is separated into its own individual page as well and Sunday analysis is um, is this right it's it's in pink so it can stick out make it very easy to find and go back and review uh, same thing for December right every single trading day you want to log it and journal it I have personally not missed a day since I started and discovered ICT back in late September so that's why this starts in November here and right February same thing and just to show you guys March it's literally the same thing every month every day right so you guys wanna really stay consistent with this I know everybody has their own preferred methods of journaling and you know you're feel free to do your own thing if that's what makes you learn better because everyone's different right but I'm just gonna show you guys what I do personally and what I really do believe has helped increase my learning curve exponentially and help me retain these concepts at a very quick rate so let's just dive right into it so for example my Sunday analysis right let's start with that what do I do and how do I have that all set up so let's go to a random day January 22nd and this is wrong this is actually 2023 so First thing I do is put in the news, right? I go to forexfactory.com. That is where I get my economic calendar. And I'll just screenshot the entire week's news and just paste it in there. And then next, I will put in my ES weekly chart analysis. So for example, I'll just go on trading view. That's where I do all my charting. I will go in, mark my chart up, write my weekly analysis and like a little note right here to the right side of the chart so for example I said I want this I'm expecting this candle to expect to the upside hit the weekly consequent encroachment and order block because we retraced back into these discount levels here um, we formed a swing loan a discount of the weekly dealing range and now we're trading back up into a premium I want to reach up for these targets up here so you do that and then what I like to do is come back in a week later and update it with what happened right so let's say the next week I'll come back to this page I created and update it with the new weekly candle printed once it's closed as you can see here I was correct about it expanding upwards and hitting the targets I had mentioned last week and then you do the same thing for ES you just do your analysis annotations for the daily chart put your notes right here on the right side come in update it paste it right here simple as that and you do the same thing for DXY daily and then come back in and update it and here I have CL I don't look at CL anymore but if you do this is pretty much just do the same thing so that's a Sunday analysis for you guys that's exactly what I do every single Sunday to get myself prepared for the week ahead and what do I do for 
in those intraday days, right? So let's just go to another random one. Uh, for like Mondays through Fridays, what do those look like? So right here, I said study this day. I must have had something important. Or this day just stuck out to me. And there's a valuable lesson to be learned in here. So I start these off with the news. But this time just for the specific day we're in, right? So it's Tuesday. I'll just post Tuesday's news here. So I can see what we're working with when I want to come back and review. See what news driver sent us up or down. Or what caused the certain volatility spike. It's important to know that when you're going back and reviewing. So I like to start off with my pre-market analysis. So here I just said watching price. See we just placed below this hourly low. Or displaced to the upside. So right here, as you can see, we haven't opened yet. And I just want to, you know, write down and log my predictions with what I think price will do. So the way I have my chart set up, it, it looks like this, right? I have a, the big Samsung 49 inch. That's why I have all these six. They don't look this small. They look very big in front of me. So up here, you'll have, I'll have ES one hour in the middle top. I'll have ES 15 minute. Over here, I'll have the ES one minute. Bottom left, I will have NQ five minute or 15 minute. I will just change whenever I need to. There, this is my NQ chart, bottom left. And then ES five minute. And then over here, I now have it as DXY. I no longer have another ES chart here. This is just DXY for me now. I, I usually just keep on a DXY one hour or 15 minute chart on throughout the day. So. That's how I have all my charts set up when I'm sitting down at the screens. But yeah, basically I'm just coming in here, doing my pre-market analysis, typing out my ideas, my thoughts. And then I'll come back in. If I see anything new, I'll just log it in. Here we opened and formed an SMT. Now we're just, we took a sell side liquidity and we're displacing upwards, right? So I now say, okay, I have a bullish bias targeting buy side liquidity up here. And basically, yeah, that's all you're doing. You're just walking yourself through the day, screenshotting what you're seeing it, what you're seeing in the charts, updating your analysis, seeing if you were right, if you were wrong, and you learn very quickly like that. You really do. So over here, I actually took a trade here based on all this analysis pre-market. Um, again, I said I'm targeting buy side, so I took this long. I said it should work, and it's going to use a five minute as support now, as it has become an inversion level. And I entered on this one minute fair value gap, targeting buy side liquidity above right here. So I screenshot it. And then next, I will come back in a few minutes later once the play is done and see how it went. And as we see here, back in tag, notice a break on the one minute as well. This occurred in the 950 1010 macro. So you're just logging down anything you see, what macro are you in, and updating as price moves on forward. Again, just basically that's what I'm doing. And this whole day will basically just be that. I'll, I'll predict what price is going to do, and I'm going to come back in and update it, write my thoughts on it. Or if I miss a play, I'll be like, all right, a 15 second offer to short. Uh, I'm going to log that, right? I missed it, but I'm going to log it and review it so I don't miss something like that next time. And here I took another play. It said drawing liquidity is now 4041, which is this buy side up here. I took an entry on the one minute, stop below the breakaway gap. Only concern now is time of day. We are really close to lunch hour. This is a trade I would not take anymore. Um, again, this was two months ago. I've learned a lot since then. But as you can see, I got stopped out. Time of day is not favorable. I do not trade anywhere near the lunch hour anymore. My favorite macros I've said on my Twitter are 950 to 1010. And the 130 Judas swing, as well as the final hour, 315, 345 sweet spot. And yeah, those are the three main times I like to focus on. I do not like trading anything near the lunch hour. And yeah, you just come in here, update it. It was a loss. Boom. Concerns were true. Time of day, not favorable. Operate best at, like I said, the macro here and not the not 11 p.m. And then, and then you, if you miss something, let's say I missed this five minute breaker, you're going to come in and update it, right? You're going to say, okay, taking a step back, I missed this. Log that, right? Log that so you don't miss it next time. It's going to help you train your eye to better recognize these patterns or 
these setups that you see here better recognize breakers and such right and then I just write to myself done for the 130 session and what do I want to going into the PM session I said hopefully we got a setup that draws us towards that uh, buy sell liquidity I mentioned up there and here I just have some live stream notes from ICT's stream and this is what it looks like right this is what you guys want to do when you're watching his live streams and he tells you guys this himself like don't just watch the streams and screenshot his charts you want to go into your charts and do this all yourself right do all the annotations you see on his charts and put them all on yours and any notes he says any any gems any any tips or just the way he's walking you through price you just want to write that down here yourself in your own chart don't just copy his because you're not going to learn like that trust me this is the way to do it it's a lot of work yes oh boy i'm getting a call it's a lot of work yes but it's what you got to do man if you really want this you're going to do this you have to as you can see again this is what my notes look like when i'm watching his live stream and then i put a link here for a quick quick way to go back so yeah that's basically what i'm doing i don't want to take up too much time essentially that is what i'm doing every single day here so i'm not going to walk you through another day because that took a pretty long time so that is what my journal looks like and let me show you how to set it up real quick so you'll just go here you'll press add a page you're just going to type in journal and if you want this little emote up here like that book you'll add icon for whatever thing you want journal and now what you're going to do is you're going to add a page so i believe it's empty page you click that now you're going to go to this plus button click the plus button click page and now you're going to put the month you're in right you're going to start with that so right now it's march 2023 and within this you're going to do the same process add a page and now you're going to type in the day you're in so right now it is Tuesday, March 28th, 2023. Hey, my birthday's tomorrow. Nice. So here's Tuesday, March 28th, 2023. So you're going to do news. And then you're going to do what I told you. You're going to put the news from forexfactory.com and screenshot that just for the specific day. And then there you go. It's going to do all your, your um, analysis updates like I showed you. And if you go back, that's what it's going to look like in March. And inside is the days. And that's basically what you do. And if you want to make it pink, if you want to make it pink, like I showed you with that Sunday analysis, all you got to do is go to color, click pink, and it'll stick out very nice. And if you want to change the icon, you can do something like that. I like that because it's analysis. And this reminds me of analysis. So, yeah, that is how you do it. I hope that helped and actually I'm going to include something else. I'm going to include a bonus here. How I organize all my notes, which I think is pretty important um, because there's a lot of ICT content out there and it's very easy to get lost and just be very disorganized with all his videos, his Twitter spaces and his live streams, right? So for all the 2023 mentorship content, I have them inside this page. And I have a table set up with three columns. First one is the title of the video. Second one is the date of watched, date I watched it. And then the URL so I can quickly click it and just watch it again if I need a refresher, right? So in these notes I have, you just click here and you will find all the notes on that specific video, right? And that's how I have all my notes set up. And it's very organized, very easy to go back and study. Um, not, I'm not searching all over the place for a note or a specific tip ICT said or a lecture. Um, I'm not driving myself crazy, giving myself headaches, trying to find it. What specific video was it? I have it very organized right here on Notion. Very clean. And it's the same exact process for all the other playlists, the core content. They're all set up the same right here, right? And same thing for the Market Maker Primer course. All the videos set up the same exact format with that table. And I'll just show you how to make that hella quick right here. So you go notes, right? You want to add a little picture to put a pencil. 
and then you're gonna go to table you're gonna go to add new database then you're gonna click you know the name or the title of the video so I'll just put title a video you're gonna put whatever it is video one and then over here you're gonna go to type you're gonna select that you're gonna click date so now you have a calendar view of whatever day you're on so now it's March 28th and you're gonna click add URL and now you can copy and paste the URL link to that specific video that you watched and that's exactly how you set up your notes right uh, yeah that's pretty much it I don't know why I have another one here but I just showed you guys how to set it up that's the journal that's the notes it's pretty much everything I wanted to go over with you all today Feel free to include any recommendations for video ideas in the future that I could make for you guys. And I have a link to Notion in the description below. I will tell you guys this, Notion has a free plan and they do have a paid plan that I believe is eight bucks a month, which is what I pay for. And the thing with the free plan is they only give you so many, there's a limit to the amount of photos you put, right? So there's a max. And if you're uploading a bunch of chart photos like I am, and it's a lot, as you saw, you're going to reach that fairly quick, as I found out. So I now have upgraded to the, the, the cheapest plan. It's only eight bucks a month, right? So if you want to sign up, the link is in the description below. I highly recommend this platform. It's very clean, very efficient, and very easy to navigate. And it is how I organize pretty much everything, almost like my whole life here. I have... My playbook I have a daily checklist I've shared with I've shared with shared this with you guys on Twitter and I even have my itinerary for my upcoming trip and yeah it's just a great platform you can do everything on and it's a great way to organize yourself but anyways I really hope this video helps and gives you an insight on how you can start journaling if you're not journaling if you're not logging anything please just start doing something start start doing this tomorrow right just start with what I told you here. You could change it up, make it your own. Like, again, everybody's different. Everybody has a different ways of learning. For me, this is what I have found to be the best form of just learning because it's repetition every day. It's just being consistent, showing up, doing the same thing. And it instills very great habits in you. If, as you can see, I've been doing this every day and I've learned pretty quick. It's only been six months five months and I, I i believe i'm pretty knowledgeable in ict concepts myself so again guys i really hope this helped and see you guys in the next video